All right, hello everyone. My name is Devin Giannetti. I'm this year's editor-in-chief of the Daily Collegian. Um, I'm Haley Johnson. I'm the managing editor. Hi, I'm Serena McMahon. I'm the social media coordinator. That's really awkward that only my Twitter handle's on there. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Um, so today we're going to talk to you about a decision uh, that took about seven months and seven minutes um, about our transformation to a primarily digital um, news organization. So I found out in early September that the Collegian was on the verge of being in some serious financial trouble. And what that meant to us was that the cost of printing and to pay our head editors uh, outweighed the money that we were receiving from advertisements. So as being primarily completely student run, um, advertising is our sole form of revenue. And as I'm sure many of you understand, advertising now um, is struggling in print publications. So that was a challenge that we definitely faced. Uh, we did know that this was kind of a long time coming, but our ultimate goal was to create a format for our editors coming in the future that would provide them with success so that they wouldn't have to worry about the finances or the business side of things, and that they could focus on creating more of that good content and really listening to what um, our readers wanted from us. So the decision that we ultimately came to was that we were going to cut our four days of printing down to two days. So we have a paper now that comes out on Monday and a paper on Thursday. So that Tuesday and Wednesday content, we still have 10 to 15 stories coming out, but it's running solely online. Um, so we got together, as one of the first things that we did is wrote an editorial with all of our head editors. Um, we took a pretty positive approach with this. We didn't want alumni or community to think that this was like a bad decision. We were really embracing the fact that this gives us a lot more opportunity to do multimedia and things like that. Um, so we also, kind of talked about how this was in no way compromising the content that we push out, if anything, that multimedia is making it stronger. Um, and we started to do that by informing our readers using social media. If we wanted to do a digital push, we wanted to really um, show our audience that social media was a good way to get the news um, every day and that we were still very dedicated to making sure that our stories were seen on, to a wide audience. Um, so around Thanksgiving, we launched a fundraiser through the university to raise money alongside this transition. Um, it, after about a month, the fundraiser ended and we raised $6,500 from about 70 donors. One of the first things we did after that came to a close was we wrote personal thank you notes to the people that donated and had some social media shout outs for some of the bigger donations. Um, this doesn't seem like a ton of money, but the feedback and um, support that we received from the community and alumni throughout this process was very helpful through that. Yeah, and I want to add that it might not seem like a lot of money, like uh, Haley said, but we're independently funded, so the university doesn't help us in any way possible. Um, so it was good to have that support from our community and our alumni. Um, speaking to alumni, we had uh, good relations before, but we really wanted to solidify and um, maintain alumni relations. So last year, we started an uh, informal alumni event. Um, and we actually saw great support. Um, people were flying in from all over the country to come back and see the newsroom. Um, and this year we said, oh, well, why don't we kick it up a notch and like really do a great formal event with a keynote speaker, um, which is actually next weekend. Uh, Steve Buckley from the Boston Herald will be coming and speaking um, and just maintaining that alumni relations to show that we really do care um, and that although we are cutting back on printing, we're still dedicated to the um, newsroom. Um, we also started social media advertising packages, which I'm not sure if anyone else here does it, but um, if you do, I'd love to talk to you about it. Um, we just started this so you can um, advertise on Facebook, Twitter, uh, and Instagram, and we use hashtag sponsored at the end of the post so that our community knows what's sponsored content and what's our content. Um, but I know there's a lot of debate about that in the newsroom um, now with social media, so I'd love to talk to you about that. Um, and we also went through a complete rebranding phase, which took a lot of time and energy, um, but we're really proud of it. So if we were gonna do this whole transition, we wanted to make sure the Collegian was modern. We wanted to make sure it was bright. Um, so we got new logos, new font, uh, new everything basically. So we're gonna show you it here. Um, so on the left is our new Collegian, and on the right is the old one. Um, like I said, we wanted something bright and eye-catching. We, um, our new website is also super mobile friendly, which before it wasn't, um, which was a big push in our digital transition. 
So the Collegian now, like I said, we're printing two days a week, and this is allowing us uh, to, it, to be a lot easier for us to make deadlines at the end of the day. We don't have to worry about our old computers. And now our two issues play the role of a week wrap-up and a weekend wrap-up, which is really good for um, our content. We have also had an increase in collaboration. Now we have more time to talk about those in-depth stories that might have sometimes been pushed to the wayside in order to meet that deadline. And we also had an increase in multimedia curation, which Serena can talk about. So we really are pushing, um, obviously, photos, videos uh, for social media and also podcasts. Um, and now we have more time instead of sitting down um, at InDesign for what hours and hours and hours doing a page um, we have more time to devote to that um, so each section in our newsroom now has their own podcast so news sports opinion etc um, so news for example does a weekly like wrap up with the news assistants on how they reported the story how they got their sources um, how the story came together etc um, and then a event that we really um, had time to put um, some effort into was the Super Bowl. And there's always chaos at UMass, as you probably know, if the Patriots are in the Super Bowl. Um, so we wanted to make sure we had all hands on deck for that. Um, and uh, our coverage uh, using audio, photos, and videos uh, got picked up, which was uh, pretty cool. And it was a great moment uh, for us digitally. Yeah. So although this isn't about um, a specific story or any of the newsroom work we did in the Collegian, we thought that it was important to show that this transition is possible and we would love to talk to other organizations that are thinking about doing something similar because it is a long process, it takes a lot of work, um, but we ultimately think that it's going to create success for the future members of the Collegian. So thank you. Thank you.